Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. This week we're looking at Bring It On Home by Sonny Boy Williamson. You'll need an A harmonica to play along with me, or if you haven't got an A harmonica, you can still follow the tab and play it in a different key. So, we're going to look at the fills between the lines. There isn't really a solo in this song, but you just fill in the gaps between the lines. So, uh, if you get your A harp... It starts... Um, with the lines between baby. So he goes, baby. Like that, okay? So I've got it tabbed out on the screen as a four draw bend into a four draw. That arrow onwards means um, a scoop, as I would call it. So he starts with a bend and releases that bend. Um, he holds that note and gets some vibrato on it. And this is one of the the really three key things here. You've got to get the notes, you've got to get the bends, and you've got to get the vibrato really to get it exactly as, as he does. So, okay. So four draw bend starts on the bend, so actually hit the note flat. Don't start on the four draw and bend down to it, actually hit the bend itself. Can you hear that moving upwards? And then when he gets to the four draw, when he releases that bend, he plays, he uses his vibrato. Okay. Very quickly, it's for me, it's kind of a... But look at my lesson on vibrato if you want to look into that. If you haven't got a vibrato and you still want to get that pulsing sort of tremolo sound, you can use your hand. Okay, look at my lessons on getting a wah-wah sound uh, if you want to learn more about that. So the four draw bends to the four draw, and then we have a very quick bend and release and then bend again. So, like that. So that's a four draw bend, four draw, four draw bend. Okay, and then he goes to the three draw. So if you put those together you go... Now he might bend the three draw slightly, I've only put three draw in the tab, but there might be a little bit of a bend on that. So if you put both those phrases together, you'd get... Okay. You could even join the two together, so you don't necessarily need to separate the first kind of note from the, the next four draw bend, it might just go up and down as one, as it were. Um, he does the same twice. So you've got I'm gonna bring it on home to you. And then he doesn't play anything after bring it on home to you. Um, he goes straight into the next vocal. So a good example of leaving space where um, you don't need to play something at all times. Uh, so then we'd have, I done bought my ticket, I got my load. And then this is what I would call the verse, I suppose, if you want to separate this into a chorus and a verse. First part was a chorus, this would be the verse. Over the verse, he kind of only really plays down the bottom few holes, and it's not the exact same thing between each line, but in the tab I've basically written out the same thing. I've written two, a load of two draws, which I'll qualify and explain a bit better now. So he's doing quite a lot more than two draws, but it's all with chordal sounds. So there aren't clean, clear notes there. He's not just playing that sort of thing. He's actually getting more of a chordal kind of... Now, if you're a lip purser rather than a tongue blocker, it's really quite hard to uh, emulate the tongue slapping sounds that tongue blockers get. But, on these lower notes, there is a, a way to do it by 
having your mouth wider and then narrowing it. Okay, so we'll look at the the um, the notes really, or the rhythm to begin with, and then we'll talk about how to fatten it out with that chordal sound. So first off, if you were just playing the two drawers, it would be something like, okay, try and join in. Now, as I say, he doesn't do the exact same between each line, but talking about the exact rhythms of each line, I think might be going into possibly a little bit too much detail for this lesson. I think it's more important for us to talk about the chordal sounds that he's getting. Um, so aside from the rhythm, the there's that lovely... Now I'm tongue blocking that there, so if you're a tongue blocker, I'm slapping. So if you're capable of getting that tongue slap. So each of the notes. I'm putting the tongue on to get that chord down to the single note. If you're a lip purser, if you pucker, you can get a similar thing by narrowing your mouth. So you're not using the tongue, but you're... So from a chord, one, two, three, draw, to a two, draw. Now slowly it doesn't have the, the kind of a slapping sound, but if you speed it up, it's a an approximation of the tongue slapping sound so that is a way with the uh, lip purse to get it sounding a little bit tongue blocky that's what's going to make the difference really um, with those fills as the verse progresses the lines are ever so slightly different but there's still that slapping sort of sound that he's getting uh, if you want to fill those notes and it's really just around that two draw then when it goes to the chorus again we've got the that sort of thing. Really only the two riffs in the song, you've got the chorus riff and the verse riff. That's the absolute basics of it, I hope that gets you started. Um, do let me know if you've got any questions, uh, put them underneath, I'll try and answer them if I notice them. Um, and do give me your uh, questions, your queries and your suggestions for future lessons. I'm going to be back next week with another um, song for you to have a look at. So enjoy this one and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.